Behind me is North Korea, 200 kilometers to Pyongyang. We surface in North Korea. When our tour guide asks them, they will say like this. Let's go to North Korea. Over a thousand bullets that covered this train because there was a sudden war that attacked this train. Good morning from Seoul, South Korea. Today is a very unique day because we are going to the demilitarized zone of North Korea. I know, it sounds scary, but it should be safe. I hope so. Anyways, we're going to an observatory deck where we can actually see the borders of North and South Korea. And as we know that North Korea has been isolated from the world. So we get to see a little bit of the backstory and the history about why they have this civil war. Anyways, we're, we need to go to exit 8 of Myeongdong Station. That's going to be our pickup point and let's go! Thank you everyone for coming on time. Thank you so much. And welcome to the DMZ Tour. You can never go wrong with the DMZ Tour. You will gain a lot of insight into Korea. Maybe one of only a few divided countries in the world. And especially, you can never go wrong with the I am Julie everyone, once again, nice to meet you. I am your tour guide today. The Cold War between Soviet Union and United Nations had ensured that there is no agreement to hold one election. So yes, differences in politics were the problem to create one unified Korea. So we're at the first stop. It was a very quick ride, it was around 20 minutes. Uh, this is the Majang Lake and we're going to cross the suspension bridge. We've heard about the history, about the Cold War of the Korean War and Majong Lake here it's actually one of the places where they had the war so it's a sad story but a lot of soldiers were found here uh, there was around 200 bodies back then so it's a very historic place as well but now they rebuilt it in 2016 become a tourist destination and it's very nice very tranquil there's no one here. If you go with the tour, they will have special access. So right now it's only us here. It's pretty nice. So we are here and we're going to walk all the way to the suspension bridge. This is all Majang Lake and we're going to cross the bridge. Go here and halfway we will go down to the parking lot to meet up with our tour. We're crossing the bridge and it's really nice here. The lake is actually green, so it's it's like emerald green, it's so nice. And also you can see guys it's see-through to the lake, so if you're here to take pictures, please be careful of your phone. It will be worth if you have some kind of rope to tie to your phone for safety reasons. Because our tour guide Julie, she said that this lake is very deep. It's around 3 meters, 2 to 3 meters deep. So be careful. If you drop something, it might be really, really hard for you to get it back. This lake is just so beautiful and serene, especially in the morning. destination this is the peace memorial park uh, this place is so historical i'll tell you guys right behind me is the last train that went to north korea so back in the days before the korean war there's still trains that go to north korea from south as you can see these are the trails that leads to north korea but because of the war they stopped it and this was the last train in fact there's 
over a thousand bullets that covered this train because there was a sudden war that attacked this train. It's so sad to know and Julia, our tour guide, she explains everything so nice. I really wish she was my history teacher and this is how we can learn all histories because it's just easier this way. These are all bullet holes. Oh my god. Our first spot of the park tour is this statue. Have you seen these statues before in your country or in the news, in the article now? Uh, comfort the women's statues, symbolizing sexual slavery by Japanese military during Japanese colonial period from 1910 to 1945. How young do you think they are? Very, very young, right? 10, 11, 15, yes, they were very young. They were very young. There are several things that we gotta check out together. First of all, what is this animal on your shoulder? A little? A little bird. What can bird do anyway? They can fly, right? Yeah, they can fly freely, but they couldn't. So that is why we put a little bird on her shoulder for freedom. And next, see her feast everyone, feast. This feast means we will no longer stay silent feast. We will tell the truth feast. So actually, South Korea government is trying to get an official apology from Japan, making these statues all over the world. We will no longer stay silent faced. And next, see her heels, everyone, heels. Attached or unattached to the ground? Unattached, right? Unattached heels mean unstable life they had to suffer because they were treated like sluts or prostitutes in Korea society. Two hundred kilometers to Pyongyang. Before the Korean War, there were many bridges, but during the war, almost all of them exploded, destroyed. And after the Korean War, we needed to rebuild bridges. Why? To exchange soldiers and prisoners at the end of the Korean War. And as this bridge's name suggests, Freedom Bridge, around thirteen thousand soldiers and prisoners came to the, cross this bridge to come to South Korea to find their freedom back. So the park tour is done and now we are on the way to a souvenir shop here and a very interesting thing is we can actually buy North Korean currency here but we are not allowed to take any pictures inside so we'll show you once we bought it. I cannot believe we just spent 150,000 Korean won for this. 150,000. Open it. <laughs> so inside this, there's Korean money. North Korean money. North Korean won. Look at that. So basically, this is all the money, the old one and the new one. Yeah, and the old one is very, very old. The new one is as new as 2016. And as you can see, the one in the picture are Kim Il-sung. I think Kim Il-sung, yeah. Yeah, gonna, it's, the, check it. it's the grandfather of the current leader of North Korea now which we don't know whether we will ever use the money or no so let us let us know guys should we visit North Korea to use this money that's comment down below that's crazy I don't know what to expect we should visit North Korean okay you might be wondering where do they got North Korean money and it's actually legit money guys if you go to North Korea you can actually use the money anyways we asked our tour guide and even they don't know how they get it. When our tour guide asks them, they will say like, Shh. So maybe, maybe they have some kind of mole or spy that supplies the money. Because they always sell it, they always have it on stock. I don't know. So right now we're resting and we're having lunch. Uh, if you're worried you're, you'll get hungry during this tour, you don't need to because they have a cafeteria in the park and there's tons of food. Uh, there's also coffee. Uh, anyways, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but this this park is the most northern part of South Korea that you can enter freely without any guidance or any tour guide that bring you. So outside of this, you cannot enter. You need a tour guide or someone um, that has the authorization to take you, which we will go later at the DMC tour. And if you're going to this tour, don't forget to bring your passport, bring the ID that you register, and you can 
book your tickets through Cook. And if you're booking through Cook, don't forget to insert my code. I have two codes. One is the Cook Nessa SG and also Nessa Huang. If you're located or you made your Cook in Singapore, you can use the Cook Nessa SG. And if you you do it in Taiwan, you can use Nessa Huang. Anyways, we'll finish our lunch and we will go to DMC. Inside the DMC, so the DMC is four kilometers long. Two kilometers is the South Korea side, and the other two is the North Korean side. And right now, we're walking towards the door observatory, where we can actually see the lives of people in North Korea through the binoculars. these binoculars we can actually see what they're doing there. I think it's their propaganda villages though. Let's check out North Korea. Okay. Okay there are some buildings and lakes. It looks pretty dry. I cannot see people yet. Definitely a lot of old buildings. And there's a tower, a tall tower. binoculars you can actually see North Korea you can really tell the difference between the south and the north from the trees so because north is isolated from the world they're almost out of resources so you can see that they're very dry there and it's kind of crazy to know that they actually use the resources for their leaders to make statues I think there's over I don't know how much but there's so many statues of the leaders there and they use all the resources to make that for brainwashing their citizens. So it's very sad to know that this is still happening to the world. And there used to be a tour called JSA. JSA is where you can actually get even closer to North Korea. But the tour is closed now because last year, an American soldier break the rule by crossing the border to North Korea. So that proves the point that JSA cannot control the people and they close the tour temporarily. So DMC will be your best choice right now because it will be the closest you can get to North Korea until JSA is reopened. It's just interesting to see and from this tour I can really learn about the history of the Korean War and you can really know what happened and for me it's really sad to know that until today there's a lot of separated families, there's a lot of uh, people from North Korea that stay in South Korea and they know they have their parents, their sisters, siblings are still in North Korea and they have no chance of contacting them. Anyways, we will go down to the second floor, there's a cafeteria and there's also another theater where we can view North Korea. On the second floor is the indoor theater and you'll get this amazing view, a big window of North Korea as well. So if you want to chill out, you can go inside here. But now we're going to our next destination, which is the tunnels that North Koreans dug to invade South Korea. So stay tuned. South Korea by the 
north began with earth-shattering sounds of artillery. And after three years and one month, the Korean War ended with the armistice. We already went to the third tunnel and unfortunately we cannot film inside because uh, this whole area is owned by the United Nations and they made the rules so everyone needs to obey the rules and when you go to the tunnel you need to wear a helmet because the tunnel is very tiny it's actually as tall as me so I can actually stand up like straight and no problem for me but a lot of taller people they will bump their head a few times so wearing the helmet is very important then once you go inside the tunnel there's a walkway that south koreans built uh, for the purpose of tourism and then you will go inside the actual tunnel it's quite long these are the tunnels that north koreans built to invade south korea back in the days but you cannot go until the end because this will be the end of the south korea line and if you pass you will enter north korea so we we i think we only got to here and actually there's a small hall where you can see through North Korea which is very cool and then you will walk back and then now we're back to the zone and this will actually be the end of our DMC tour just go take pictures on the picture area and then we'll go back to Seoul short stop which is a unification village so this village used to be a propaganda village of South Korea but now actual South Koreans actually live here they have a population for over 200 people there are perks and benefits to live here but there's also some restrictions so people that live here they actually have a curfew they have to be home inside the village at 11 p.m. but some of the benefits are one they don't need to go to the military if you guys don't know the males in south korea they have to they have to serve their country by going to the military for two years i think before the age of 30 uh, and then other benefits is that people here they don't need to pay taxes so some of the south koreans they actually choose to live here to make money and also it's pretty nice here it's pretty chill the air is so good and also right there there's the cafeteria the specialty here is soybean and ginseng so we're going to check the cafeteria out I got the signature soybean ice cream. This is for 4,000 won. Let's try. It tastes like peanut butter ice cream, but there's no peanut here at all. And this is completely vegan, so if you're vegan, you can try this. We're now back in Seoul. And it was such an interesting day, right guys? I, I do think so. I learned a lot, a lot of history, a lot of geographical things. And I wish you guys can also experience the DMC tour. And don't forget, if you're curious to learn more, I'll link the booking link down below so you can see. And don't forget to use my 5% off code with Kluk. Nessa Huang if you're located in Taiwan. And Nessa Kluk SG if you're located in Singapore. Anyways, we're going to end our vlog very soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video so you don't miss out on more. See you next time. Bye-bye.